Hello, beautiful souls. Okay, we have a woman holding a heart in the reverse position. It could be that there is a third party involved here in a relationship context. If that is resonating, particularly with it being the divine masculine here who is in a third party situation, then there could be someone who is in a sense pulling on his heartstrings or someone who is just holding his heart or pulling on his heart in some kind of way. Can I get more clarification on this? Yeah, we have a woman holding a coin. That's a sign of confirmation because this is my number one karmic feminine card here. So this won't be for everyone. But for some of you listening, the thing kind of standing between the two of you at this time in the physical could be a karmic feminine connection here. What other details can I get on this connection? Oh, truth is coming out within this karmic connection because we have deceit in the reverse position. If this isn't connecting as a specific karmic person in the connection or a third-party situation, this actually could be a karmic pattern within the masculine themselves because karmic energies are not limited to relationships. I'm hearing empathic. So a lot of this could actually be empathically picked up from people around you or from the collective. I am getting the sense that, and I actually felt this as a download prior to starting this recording, that for a certain group of people who would be connecting in here, you are really seeing your empathic abilities highlighted at this time, but in a way that might have what feels like a negative connotation. Meaning, because you are so empathic, because you are so highly sensitive, you might actually be picking up on a lot of intense emotions, particularly those surrounding the heart chakra, around people around you with a broken heart. And the Sun card being the first two cards coming out here. The number may resonate with your energy. You might be seeing a lot of that. I feel this resembles you very much, being in a powerful energetic alignment as you step into this next new phase of your life. You are very much stepping into the Sun here, metaphorically speaking. However, I feel almost this contrasting energy where there are people around you who are still holding on to the past. So this could be past ways of being, thinking, possibly even past versions of your own self, and are coming up with this number 9. This also could represent the month of September. This could be someone's birth month. But I'm also hearing September could be a very transitional month for certain people who are listening to this reading. I feel like it's almost as though you are stepping into the sun here. You are coming into this fresh, brilliant, vibrant new energy, but there are others who are very much holding on to the past, holding on to an old version of reality that is passing away. What we sometimes call the 3D, a past version of reality, a lower vibrational dimension that we are actually beginning to collectively shift out of, from divine muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love, and part of a theme I felt coming through for the reading today, is that for someone listening, you may actually feel people pulling on your energy, almost as though they are feeling uncomfortable with you stepping into this vibrant, new, fresh energy. I'm also hearing that for someone listening, this is a theme throughout your life. This isn't something new. You may have felt your entire life, as someone who has been a lifelong empath, that you found yourself unconsciously absorbing the emotions from either groups of people around you, collectives of people around you, or even just singular people that you would connect with throughout the day. And then, in the past, when you were unconscious of these empathic energy-absorbing abilities, you may have blamed yourself for the resultant feelings, emotions, reactions, shifts in your own energy. I'm getting that specifically being around certain people or other groups of people may have made you very sad, very anxious, or very tired. And you are coming into this new level of consciousness that is allowing you to treat your being with a newfound gentleness. Because for someone that I'm tapped into here, you, in the past, have judged yourself harshly for reacting in certain ways because of energies you've been exposed to or empathically absorbed from other people. But as you become more conscious of your spiritual gifts and abilities revolving around empathy, as you learn to acknowledge that some of what you are feeling and reacting to is actually external and not something happening internally, this is becoming very empowering to you. Because it is allowing you to begin establishing those boundaries of separation between self and other, really sorting through what is your own 
and what is being absorbed from people or environments around you. I'm not sure why all of this information is coming out. This must be really essential to someone at this time. Here we have the Cosmic Heart Devotion Potency Card. Make your life a moving prayer. Heart Chakra Correspondence I'm hearing that many people around you are actually going through some kind of heart chakra awakening at this time, whether it's happening secretly or publicly. These are people who are in the midst of feeling as though they are having their own heart broken open energetically speaking. And I feel that they're actually experiencing a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, emotions that we associate with a kind of dark night of the soul. When in reality, what is happening is their heart chakra is opening. Now you are kind of like the flame attracting the moths here, because you are someone who has had a very open heart chakra for a while now. You are exuding this kind of powerful light energy, particularly through your heart chakra, that is causing these others that are beginning to open their heart to be drawn towards you. But again, the obstacle here is being able to be that beacon of light and that positive influence on others going through their own heart chakra awakening while still setting very self-honoring boundaries around your own energy. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.